the submarine rescue vehicle has returned from its dive. It's manoeuvred carefully, ready to transfer its precious cargo to a portable hyperbaric chamber welded onto the ship. Inside, the team practice their casualty drills. This is exactly how they transfer an injured submariner who had been rescued from a distressed submarine. The NATO submarine rescue system is the best in the world because of this. No other system has anything like it. So the casualty has been transferred straight from the back of the rescue vehicle and they're coming into here, the transfer under pressure system. They haven't had to go outside, they haven't had to be shipped away to a hospital somewhere else and they can stay at exactly the same pressure that they've been exposed to in the distressed submarine and be brought very slowly back up to the surface. The TUP is a giant decompression chamber able to counteract the impact of nitrogen gas on the body, known as decompression illness, or the bends. If, if a lot of nitrogen bubbles are gathered in the blood, they can block the bloodstream to the heart and lungs, causing the uh, patients to suffocate, really. To give a rescued submariner the best chance of survival, they will stay in the five chambers of the TUP system for hours, even days, as they are slowly brought back to normal surface pressure. Looking after them are specially trained submariners and divers, including on the British side, Royal Navy reservists, who are on high readiness if the system is ever needed for real. It's amazing that uh, the UK are the only uh, you know, people that employ reservists to do NSRS, but it's a role um, quite suited to the reservists as long as your employer um, you know, buys into the idea um, and you go into the high readiness uh, list. It's like, you know, um, you can fly anywhere in the world for a relatively short notice. Um, and, and that's something that, you know, I, I enjoy. Welcome to the dive brief. Uh, this is a tri-nation system. The roles between them fully interchangeable. The team play to their own country's strengths, bringing different things to the table. And in a time of increased global tension, a system like this has its place. We are lucky to work with uh, British and Norwegian people. Um, it is very important to work together because the most uh, difficult part of the job is a language barrier. Being tri-national uh, means that we're not seen as a political, we're not that part of a political pawn. Uh, we're not a UK system, um, you know, we, are, we belong to the three nations. Um, so other countries who, with, who operate submarines will approach us on a tri-national basis. Um, it, it, you're not dealing with one particular country, you're dealing with the three countries together. Exercise Northern Sun has been a test, a test of the kit in an Arctic winter, of the impact of the cold on personnel too. But the relationship between the countries is as strong as ever, and the system ready to rescue trapped submariners whenever and wherever it's needed. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Norway.